less so now, more so when, uh, when because obviously no, what I'm saying, more experienced in What I'm saying is that those same life pressures are there yeah. when you're trading, right? It's not the same anymore. E it's too easy now, like in, in terms of that sense, because I don't know, you just have, no, no. have more money. But... You, mis you misunderstand my, my question. I'm not asking you about the difficulty of the task. Oh, just pressure, just pressure. I'm saying that the external pressures, yeah. those are still there, right? Yeah, yeah. the external pressures are always there, yeah. But you choose, you choose yeah. not to allow them to influence you while you're trading. That's exactly, yeah, the whole point is emotional detachment, yeah. You have to have Why do you do that? Because then it affects your, yeah, it affects your performance, yeah. And when it affects your performance, what happens? You you make a loss. You want to make a loss. Yeah. Okay. And I do want to avoid that. So, would you agree that you should use the same mentality yeah. when it comes to your deen? Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Try and try. So when there's something that gives you the emotional trigger yeah. to tell you to do something that you know is haram. Just like you protect yourself from a bad trade, then the worst trade that you can ever make yeah. is to displease Allah. But you know what I've noticed as well? I don't know if anyone's ever said this to you before, but one thing I've noticed in my life before I started going like the way I am now, one thing I've noticed is that you know people who do these things, they do this thing or they do other stuff, they do gambling and whatever, all the haram, they lose know everything. Guess what? These people have amazing lives, they have amazing family ties, they have marriage at the perfect time, they have everything, they have whatever you can think of in this world, they have it. They have the car, money, house and everything. But why is it that when somebody doesn't do drink, he doesn't do smoking or whatever, or maybe smoke, but he doesn't drink, he doesn't do weed or anything, cocaine or any of these other kinds of things. Smoking is a bit of an iffy, iffy one, depending what pick, pick you follow. Some says haram, some says makri. So it's still frowned upon dislike. Um, but why is it that these people are given the dunya? These people, they have easy lives. I've noticed this. I know somebody, I'm not going to say who it is. This person sells sharaf for many, many years. Many, many years. Has big house, cars, children are set. Children don't even, didn't even need grades in school. Why? Because the father so set financially. The money will be left for them. But they still go whatever they did, they did. But so these are just examples. That I know, majority of people I know that are successful in dunya, they actually, they go against us now. Okay, let me ask you a question then. Yeah. Because it's difficult. Cause you it's mentioned... When I start doing good, you know what happens? I don't get nothing back in return. Whether I'm giving food to somebody or, you know, whatever it is, normally in, in back in return, I'll see my own life, there'll be, there'll be problems. But when I, when I start doing haram, start doing drinking, all of a sudden, guess what? Oh, subhanAllah, all of a sudden, now money's coming, health is coming, uh, women's coming, and I don't know, whatever, the, whatever's happening, relationship, mom's getting ill, although she doesn't know. My mom's actually a niqabi and she's very, like, fully to the deep. She's, uh, she's somebody that, if, I, if she found out what I was doing, if you used to tell her what I was doing, she would cry. Maybe she would speak to me again, or maybe she would ask me why. Why? My brother, you... sorry, what was your name? My name is Zohaib. Zohaib Abbas, yeah? Abbas. Zohaib, look, yeah. you mentioned somebody who sells alcohol, yeah. who is very successful in terms of worldly success, very, very good. has a lot of money, yeah. his children have a lot of money, yeah. everyone's going to be set for life. Yeah. Now, let me ask you the question. Yeah. In your view, yeah. Is that success? No, it's not because I know that once I die, I have to be held accountable for how the money I've earned. And because some people said that money was written for you regardless, but you chose, they say there's a freedom part of the destiny, of the, the qadr that's set, is that you chose to get it that way. But that money was going to come to that particular person that I'm talking about regardless. And so many other examples I can think of where people are there. Maybe they have restaurants, lavish restaurants. Probably if I said the name of the restaurants, you would know uh, the restaurant. They're very big restaurants in the UK. But what do they do? They sell alcohol. Okay, so yeah. you just said to me, yeah. Despite him having all that money, yeah. despite his children having all this money, yeah. actually he's not successful. He's not in the dunya he is, but in the but that's the thing, like some people believe as well, like in his mind, let's say if he was here right now, you know what he would say, he would say, Well, I, okay I do this, but um, how do you know if I'm not praying five times a day? And, and, no, but and I'm asking him, you. Yeah. Because I don't, I'm not Allah, that's the problem. No, no. I'm not God. No, no, but I don't know. Because I said okay. the mercy of God is 40 times more. Good I, I than understand, your I understand. And I know my mother. I, 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 I understand. But what I'm asking you is that you mentioned this example yeah. 
of this person yeah. who has all this money, his children have all this money, yeah. and you mentioned it in a way yeah. whereby he's achieved some extraordinary thing. Extraordinary, but yeah, it's, yes. uh, something that is but, 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 but I'm asking you, if you, let's say you uh, are Bill Gates, okay, uh, Bezos, too much, yeah. Been, okay, the guy who owned Oracle, okay, yeah. Steve Jobs, yeah, Warren Buffett, I think. Warren Buffett, you have more wealth than all of these people put together. Yeah. And on the day of judgment, yeah. you're thrown in the hellfire. So, what does it help? Were you successful or did you fail? I've, definitely. And before then, I'll probably know anyway because the way my soul will come out, the things that happened to me in the grave, I'll know before then no, it's going to be my. Like, what I'm saying to you is. Yeah. Has that person attained success or have they failed? He's failed. Okay. Well, but so, 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 brother. The flip side is, no, 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 brother, I, hold, I, on. I seen, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So, what that means then is that success is not about worldly wealth. No. So, when you see people with worldly wealth, this is a sort of success, sort of. but limited only to this world. So, what would you say to somebody that has to. Um, he had nothing like he, he, let's say he looks an ordinary person like me and you yes but but given the best situation let's say they have no means of eating yes uh, they have to steal for their food yes although in years in this country is very mindless crime unless yes. it's over a certain amount but you're not going to steal uh, uh 200 pounds worth of food are you you're going to steal probably 20 pounds yes but the food for one person or 15 pounds so very minor you are, even if you get caught nothing's going to happen yeah. so what would you say to this person but allah hasn't given him the wealth to 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 to, to provide for himself to for um, a new clothes on himself or, or to put food in his belly but now he's going through this way this is haram also okay so, hold so, on so therefore yeah. this person yeah. the world will look at this person yes definitely and definitely. they will say that I he's he's around. not successful yeah i see this around here correct yeah i see this is that correct yeah okay I see this. if that person dies on belief iman yeah. and he's patient in his condition yeah. and he still shows gratitude yeah. and on the day of judgment yeah. when everybody is handed their rewards yeah. for what they earned in this world yeah. and he attains paradise right. then, will people see him as being successful or yeah. failed he definitely successful that one then, yeah. yes even though he didn't have it here he had it over there and over there it tells me in the quran it says that this is nothing but a pastime and a sport this is nothing but a pastime and a jest it constantly reminds it doesn't say just once in the quran it says multiple times in the quran it shows me anything that's said multiple times in my brain is saying that, that allah SWT is trying to show emphasis on these points that kind of remind us so, that this so is brother what i'm trying to hopefully establish with you yeah I see where you're from is that success is not really here yeah. is not material it's not here, yeah. success is your connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. you know why yeah. because Allah says on the day of judgment yeah. if the disbeliever yeah. offers the entire world yeah. and everything in it, in it yeah. as a ransom yeah. it will not be accepted from them yeah. The same world that people kill each other to earn to get will be useless in the hereafter. You understand? So, Alhamdulillah, you're a clever guy, right? I'm not teaching you. I'm just really reminding, reminding you, you of what you already know. That, that's, that's exactly how I feel. You understand my point? I was about to say that to you. So, look, my brother, the ball is in your court, okay? You want success here and you want to sacrifice the hereafter yeah. Yeah, you can do that it's your choice what, what were the people that but, they, but, but, what, but, what were the people that try to play, play smart with God? But, but there's, 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 there's people that play smart with God. What they do is during their twenties, thirties, maybe even forties, they might push it to maybe even up until fifty. They will do all of this uh, drugs and alcohol and whatever, yeah. And they won't read any salah, yeah, let alone making up. They won't read any salah. But what they will do is they think that they are more clever than God. What they will do is they will get to that age and they say, oh, now I'm not going to do any of it. I say, astaghfirullah, and hopefully when I die, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to go to jannah. Or, so what, do you, what do you say? What do you say to them? Zayn, can we fool Allah? This is what I said. Yeah. This is I, can we fool Allah? You can't. Can we trick Allah? Even before you say the thought out loud, He knows what's inside you. Yeah. So you can't play the Jedi mind trick with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You understand my point? Yeah. yeah. Human beings. Is, uh, so there's a condition when you do sins. <laughs> One of the conditions is that you don't deliberately do the sin thinking that I'm going to just ask for forgiveness later. Do you understand? 
That's one condition. Okay. There's a certain etiquette, but when you slip, you fall into temptation, you make a mistake, and then you turn to Allah. You humble yourself. Allah says, "I'll forgive you." But if you start playing the Jedi mind trick with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, remember one thing. You're not gonna win. <laughs> You'll come up short. Yeah, 100%. Allah can't be tricked. You understand my point? Yeah. Allah forgives sincerity, not trickery. Yeah, that's what they say. When you do toba, do sincere toba. Yeah. Understand my yeah. point? Sincere. Always that word goes with it. It's never just toba. It's sincere toba. Yeah. Now, my humble yeah. advice to you, as my son, <laughs> you're probably my younger than my son. Okay, I'm 55, so you're probably. Oh, uh, you're 55. Yeah, no you're a lot younger than me, Allah right? Allah. Look, out of love for you, you already know what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You said that there are certain pressures that trigger you to do the things that you do. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Inshallah, look at what those things are and find a way of reacting to those things in a halal way so that you will benefit from those things even the, the pressures but if you react in the way that you're reacting then, then it may ruin you and just like just like you chase the pips okay chase the, the, the thawab chase the good deeds because just as those pips benefit you in your trades yeah. and even that like you know I, one thing I did is I made sure that the account that I had was an Islamic account so that's something that I even went through like, you know to specifically make sure that the broker I choose I was many because the majority of them are not Islamic accounts they're normal they have interest I specifically searched for this uh, particular brokerage uh, something that doesn't have interest and, Look, you know, I, did it. I do um, Alhamdulillah as a profession I'm just fin finishing a course in the next two weeks okay. on Islamically in integrated life coaching oh, life coaching okay. okay so that's how you know about this type okay of when I first started I thought it was a bit frou frou yeah. new uh, new age I thought yeah. Al Alhamdulillah it really helps me personally now I obviously I normally charge okay but go on to my website yeah. coachingworked.com okay coachingworked.com right and inshallah we'll book a free session okay no money no charge okay all right 